The new year could bring new problems for airlines and airports, and that's because the FAA is concerned about new 5G cell towers interfering with the plane's automated landing systems. And we've learned it could impact flights right here at Logan. Chris Van Cleve explains it all. A standoff between two federal agencies could have flight halting consequences for airlines caught in the middle. Starting January 5th, U.S. airlines may have to stop using equipment that helps pilots land in bad weather or low visibility at more than 40 of the nation's busiest airports, following an FAA order prompted by concerns about possible interference from newly activated 5G cell phone towers. 5G is now the biggest issue facing the airline. It's remarkable to say in a world where we're still in COVID. United CEO Scott Kirby says airlines have no choice but to adhere to the FAA order. If we go back to decades old procedures and technology for flying airplanes, cancel thousands of flights per day and hundreds of thousands of customers, it will be a catastrophic failure of government. The wireless industry insists there is not a safety issue, arguing the aviation industry's fear mongering relies on completely discredited information and deliberate distortions of fact. AT&T and Verizon are pledging to reduce signal strength on cell towers near airports. We have 39 countries where you have this deployment. There have been no issues. Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn believes expanded 5G service is essential. What we are looking at is a uh, late onto the table objection by the FAA. The FCC says it is optimistic that a solution can be worked out. The wireless industry has spent about $80 billion buying the bandwidth for 5G and opposes any further delays. But the airlines say without a solution, those flights will have to be delayed and canceled. It could impact an estimated 32 million flyers over the course of next year. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Washington.